and good day. Today we're having a look at a SMD uh, rework station, uh, one I've just picked up off uh, eBay. It's a Yahoo, I think. I, I'm not really certain on the pronunciation of it. Um, I don't don't speak Chinese. Uh, that's the box itself, and of course, comes with instruction manual um, in English, of course. It's it's readable, a um, couple of spelling errors uh, here and there, but uh, it's understandable in, in general, which is uh, quite acceptable. And we get that aside. The actual unit itself, back here. Whoops, coming forward. Uh, yeah. And there we get uh, three little tubes, uh, the hot air tubes for it. It comes with a tool. Now, the tool is pretty well next to useless. Um, it's supposed to fit the little dents there, and uh, as you can see, it uh, yeah, doesn't doesn't do much at all. Out of the three that I've got here, um, only the middle one has got half a chance of working the uh, dents are deep enough that it actually grips. Um, but that doesn't matter. I'm not not that fussed about it. Um, the actual gun itself is uh, pretty straightforward. It just simply drops on. You give it a bit of a twist, and she's locked in place. A bit bit on the loose side but again um, not expensive units so can't expect the world but it'll hopefully do the job uh, that I'm after it has a couple of interesting little safety features about it um, one is that it heats very very rapidly um, but it will only work once it's switched on of course which it is now and I've got to switch it on at the wall so I'll turn this off again and once it reaches uh, 100 um, or lower, it switches itself back into standby mode, which is what it's in now. I've got uh, a bit of lead solder over here. I'm going to sort of just lay it across the board. A little bit of timber. This timber over here, by the way, is called gel your tongue, if anyone's interested. It's uh, just a bit of timber that I do a bit of carving with. Now, we'll see how we go again. And uh, rapid heat. On 320, and we'll see whether this thing will physically melt it. And there she goes. Perfect. So it does the job beautifully. Um, looking forward to playing with it for real very shortly and uh, see what we can do with it. I've got to admit it's a fairly quiet unit, um, reasonably well made, I, I wouldn't get overly excited about the quality on it, um, but at the same token I haven't paid a lot of money for it, and I'm quite impressed with the, um, with the product so far. Of course time will tell. We're nearly at 100, and here we go. Come on, hurry up, 100, oh, 169, don't you just love the way this thing works? Very accurate, as you can see. Or is it? <laughs> I'm getting down, I have a funny feeling that uh, the 100 is, um, when it just kicked over then, it was actually 200, and there's a fault with the uh, display, the LED display in there, but, yeah. Again, I'm not that worried about it. Would like to have had it working properly, but in fairness, Again, you get what you pay for, and as long as it shuts down and uh, lasts for a few years, I'll be very happy. And we're just waiting now to get down to the, come on, hurry up, the 100 mark, down to 100. Come on, you can do it, boy. Keep going, keep going. Like oh, jingoes, it takes a long time to cool down. Get it heated up probably about 20 or 30 times in this amount of uh, time it's taken to cool off. And here we are, 1, 8, 1, 7, 1, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and shut down. There we go, 100 down. Beautiful. Worked perfect. Um, and that's basically it. And uh, hopefully I've got myself a good buy. <laughs>